All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to move on once again. So please welcome into the red corner, left Eris Mumoris. And would you welcome into the blue corner, John Fausen. This is lightweight amateur MMA over three three-minute rounds of action. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 152.3 pounds. He represents the South End Combat Academy, Lefteris Memoris. And his opponent in the blue corner, he weighed in at 153 pounds. He represents Fight Zone London, John Fausen! Your referee, Dan Motherhady. Daniel the Gentleman Movahidi, the third man in the ring. Daniel, the gentleman, Movahidi, the third man there in the ring. And we continue here for more mixed martial arts action here in the Lion Fighting Championship. Moving up now to the lightweight division. Two outstanding gyms there. The fight zone in the blue corner and the South End Combat Academy in the red. Out of the red corner, Left Terrace Morris and Joe Falzon in the blue. Lou Morris doing a great job there of catching the takedown early. And it's fight zone on their back. Lou Morris there in the black tight shorts. John Falzon in the green tight. You can see John on the bottom now, utilizing that underhook. What he'll try and do is to try and get his legs out and pull full guard. At the moment, he's great finding his opponent's legs to push him backwards, perhaps looking for the cage walk to get a bit of distance between him and Mumoris. Mumoris now trying to suck him away from the cage and get to full mount. He's there. Mumoris doing a great job there of sliding his hips over to maintain that dominant position. But it was a very crafty escape there from Falzon to try and get his back to the wire and utilize that to catch the stand up. 
Lynn Morris now needs to drop down and suck the hips away of Falzon from that cage. At present, the full mount is not initiated till he gets both those legs over. Now he's in a position to do some damage, looking for the punches. And a great job there of pushing down and forcing his opponent away from that stabilizing position with his back up against the mesh. Oh Big my goodness, pound. these are punishing shots, Chris. Huge, huge blizzard of pain there coming down there from Pelzon. Excuse me, Mumoris. Oh, Mumoris gives his back up. Didn't like the strikes, wasn't able to get out of that position. And Falzon there in trouble there. Wow, what a crazy turn of events. Falzon now reverses the position. He gave his back up initially, now he ends up on top. Great work on the bottom, great scramble work from John. It seemed to me Memoris was a little bit high there, so he was unable to contain himself and maintain the grips and control he had. Looks to be maybe stuffing it on there for a triangle choke, but some vicious ground on town now. Felzon returning the favor. Felzon bloodied up over the left eyebrow. Memoris doing a great job of controlling the posture. You see he's hooking the head and controlling the wrist, limiting the damage there on the bottom. He did threaten a triangle earlier on, but John Falzon did a great job of utilizing his head. So he's pushing his head into the chin area of Memoris, keeping him pinned there, limiting the movement on the bottom, Chris. And some great escapes from both. So let's see how it goes down. We are back standing here for round two in the Line Fighting Championship. Falzon now taking a more of a squatted stance, trying to keep that distance, loading up for that big right hand. But I think that was a slip there. But Memoris is not allowing Falzon any room Controlling the legs, let's see if he sweeps his legs to the side for the bullfighter pass. Tries to put the punch in there, looking to take the back. The foul's on very aware. Utilizes the underhook now, looking for the uppercuts. Nice counter there, showing the uppercut, then blitzing with the left hook. And a huge left hook shows the level change. I like the way he set that up. He faked the uppercut, went to the left. Faked the takedown, went to the left. That's what MMA is all about, Chris, making your opponent think something else while you do something else. And you see here now, Memoris is working for the takedown, initiates separation, big leg kick from Memoris. Memoris actually looked for a spinning attack there. I love the way he actually escaped the 100 percenter and got to a good position. Very, very, very slick stuff. And both seem so smooth in doing so, Dean. Fowles are looking for a way in now. Let's see if he can pull that jab out here. He'll put that up, look for that overhand right, and then go in for the clinch. There we go. But Memoris putting the big knee in there. Excellent work by Memoris, just gaining that distance away from his opponent, sinking that knee into the midsection, disrupts the breathing, and almost certainly is going to make Falzon push back and give Memoris the distance he needs to work these takedowns. And a clinch battle here that has been very similar to what we saw in the first. On the ground, with the back control, the mount, the full guard, neither fighter was really willing to give an inch to him. And again, that's just a testament to the level of coaching they have there in the gym. When they're training their grappling, when they're training their MMA, for example, in these positions, they are often taught those fundamentals that you really get when you're under the tutelage of polished professional fighters. So important when you're an amateur. Falzon was using his head excellently there, but Morris now has switched this position round, utilizing the overhook, Putting some body shots in there. See, Falzon's got double underhooks because he's got both the arms underneath Memoris. Very dominant position, but Memoris able to pressure Falzon back into the cage, looking for the double leg. Falzon utilizing that underhook on the right arm. And what a counter there. I love that. Memoris actually thrust his hips in, tried to destabilize him. To some, this might seem a bit of a stalemate, but this is one of the most important fundamental positions in mixed martial arts. It is a struggle, it is a contest, it is a chess match. Fouls on now with a big right hand in the in the midsection. Goes to Memoris, beautiful stuff. Absolutely love this battle of testaments here, and it's really down to who can get under the other's hips and manipulate, and both athletes did a great job of pulling their hips away, not allowing the opponent to gain that distance underneath them and take the legs away. In this amateur contest, at a buck 
55, lightweight mixed martial arts, and it's already here in the third round, as fast and furious as it's been all night. I love the way the fouls are went for broke there, but now it's Memorias going straight at it. Both these athletes looking for the finish. Thousand catches that leg. He's got to be careful of these knees. Thousand looks a little bit discombobulated there, Dean. That was a wild series of alternating hooks there from Morris. Excellent game of chess, a game of give and take. When Morris comes in, does some damage, Falzon responds. Very aware of the scorecards, aware of what is needed in this fight, but they're both trying to finish. Very impressive to watch. High-level matchmaking here at the LFC. And, you know, sometimes you've got to chunk a fight down like that in your own mind. In the middle of the chaos, everything's going on. You're worried about strikes. You're worried about the boxing, the kicking, the clinch game here. You've got to make those little snap judgments. Okay, I just last lost the last 15, 20 seconds. This is what i got to do for the next 30. Fouls on here with the double underhooks. He needs to think about manipulating the direction of Mumoris and perhaps using his hips or a leg, Chris, to initiate the takedown. At the moment, he's letting Mumoris lean on him. And a separation there, not enough action to improve position. And it seems to me Mumoris is gasping for air. Both fighters have worked really hard, Chris, and they are being smart about this. The more time they get to suck in all that oxygen and replenish the oxygen debt, less lactic acid, they'll be able to fight harder. And as you see the head movement here from Falzon, big hooks! And the front leg snap kick. Actually, that was off the rear leg. But Morris has used that a couple of times very nicely. There we go, he starts to use his leg now from the trip, but Mumoris are very aware and used the, utilized that almost like a judo hip throw, but now he ends up with his back taken. Falzon needs to think about getting the hooks in. You see he's pouring with his right hand there, Chris. He's trying to open up the space and control the posture of Mumoris and try and get a hook in. And when you get hooks in, you have got control. Incredible. And what has to be surely fight of the night and that's saying something given the level of the contest we've seen. An absolute madness as Falzon looks to drag Mumoris back to the ground, but he gives up the mount. And Mumoris pouring on the gasoline, high octane mount offensive. Referee in charge, Daniel Mobahidi warning. This could be stopped, Chris. And that is all she wrote. And the end of the fight comes here late in the third. Both fighters gasping for air. And that is one of the most scintillating things about mixed martial arts, Dean. You're late in the fight. It's been a contest of the wills. You've got to dig deep. You've got to find a way. You don't know whether if you leave it on the judges' scorecards, if it's going to go your way. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree a superb bout. Please, let's hear it for both your warriors in the cage. But we do have your winner by way of ground and pound in two minutes, 46 of round three. The red corner lifted.